Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben, this is Books with Bengus Khan, and today I have for you a new book haul with a ton of great stuff that I am so excited to show off. A lot of really highly anticipated special editions have come in in the last couple months, but I also hit up a bunch of used bookstores on my recent road trip that I took with my wife to Niagara Falls. There was a, a great bookstore in Niagara Falls, New York, and then there were a few in New York State along the way as we were stopping in places on our way home. And so I got a ton that I am happy about. And first is one from Grim Oak Press, and my, one of my favorite series, Temeraire by Naomi Novik, has finally gotten the special edition treatment. And Grim Oak Press, it's a nine book series, and they're all pretty short books. They're doing three deluxe volumes, so three omnibuses, where the three books are published in one volume. And this is the first one, In His Majesty's Service. It has this amazing purple slip case. And then the book itself is filled with spectacular paintings. And I can't wait to reread the series. One of the earliest adult fantasy series I read, about five, six years ago now. And uh, I can't wait to reread it with this special edition, just full of amazing art. So great job, Grim Oak Press. They really impressed me with this one and also with Dragon's Bane that I've gotten from them. So, happily order from them in the future. And then The Broken Binding has started publishing its own books for the first time, I think, with A Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill. That's the first book in the first novel in the Bound and the Broken series. And again, the amazing job by these small presses. Love the cover art, the gold foiling, the different art on the back. I love that there's also no text on the cover. It's, uh, I, I don't mind text on the cover, but it makes this one really stand out. We got a title on the spine, and inside we got amazing full color art, full color map. Very impressed by the Broken Binding Press, and I think they'll be doing Illborn next, so I might check that out. Going around our tour of uh, small boutique presses, here's one from Subterranean Press. And this one is not one of their sort of premium deluxe editions, but they usually publish all of K.J. Parker's books and short fiction collections. And this is the most recent one, Under My Skin. So if you get them uh, before they sell out, they're not too expensive. And this one, uh, also, the, the sub-press K.J. Parker covers are just so weird, and uh, I am here for it. I love that. Um, but I'm excited to dive in to some more K.J. Parker. And then from Dragonsteel, we have Brandon Sanderson's Second Secret Project, The Frugal Wizard's Handbook for Surviving Middleville, England. The book itself, the text has not gotten great reviews from people so far, but the physical book and the color is spectacular. I love this royal blue theme, and there's so much art throughout, just lots of blue designs on the pages. So Dragonsteel has just done an amazing job with the art design on this book and the end papers, and it'll look great on the shelf next to Tress and hopefully the other secret projects as well. So just a beautiful, nice faux leather edition there. And I guess I'll count this in my special editions. This is Von Roycroft's uh, second book in the Sunder Nation trilogy, Bold Ascension, that is a physical arc. So I actually got a sneak peek at the real cover art for this second book and it is a spectacular painting. But I've been uh, reading through, I'm about halfway through this second book so far. So thanks, Vaughn, for sending me this as my first ever physical arc. Before we get to the used bookstore haul, I did do one order from Book Owl, and I'm trying to really limit myself there. And I had to order one book from eBay because I have not found this one in any used bookstores. And that is The First Chronicles of Just Legend by David Gemmell. That's the one I think I really wanted to read next. And I have almost all the other Gamble books in MMPB from used bookstores. But I uh, did have to order that one online. But I'm excited to read a dress prequel. And then from Book Outlet, got Flowers for Algernon. Don't know much about it, but no people usually have an emotional time with that one. Book two in Mike Shackle's series. This is A Fool's Hope. I got book one a few months ago from Book Outlet. Now book two. Need to complete that set. Here's an interesting sci-fi release from last year. That's The Mountain in the Sea by Ray Naylor. I think it has to do with very intelligent uh, octopi. Um, don't know if that's plural or if there's just one main one, but it was uh, 
I think in the the running for the Nebula Award, if I have that right from last year. So uh, hopefully it'll be a good read. A major sci-fi author that I've never tried is Werner Vinge. This is a Fire Upon the Deep, Tor Essentials Trade Paperback Edition. I love the coloring on that one. And to continue to amass the full Ursula K. Le Guin collection, this is The Lathe of Heaven. I have almost all of her books now. All right, time for my used book haul from a bunch of different used bookstores. Uh, first is from the Book Barn of the Finger Lakes. So kind of up near Ithaca, New York. And I'll link a video in the description that shows the owner who I, I did meet there uh, it, discussing his, his book barn and, and uh, just showing his enthusiasm for books. And it's really great to see that. Uh, I just love being in there because there were a million books just in the shelves, stacked on the floor everywhere. And there was this great SFF collection in the kind of uh, second floor, almost like an attic part of this barn. And I found a lot of great stuff there. The first is a hardcover edition of The Stand. So I believe this is a first printing from this newer complete and uncut edition that they released. And I had a newer trade paperback, but uh, this one, I love this cover. And so I was really happy to find this for a reasonable price. I don't know if I got a good deal on it, but it was only like $30 for that one. So I will probably read from that one when I get to the stand. And then a signed first edition hardcover of Turncoat by Jim Butcher. This is a hardcover I did not have. So I have a, a bunch of the, the Dresden Files hardcovers, but not this one. It's one of my favorites in the series. So I am so pumped to have found that one for another really good deal. I have not really read any Robert Jordan besides The Wheel of Time. So curious uh, about the uh, writing he did for the Conan series. This is the Further Chronicles of Conan. Uh, probably should start with the uh, Robert E. Howard stuff, but um, here's a cool book to keep on the shelf. And then one of the few Ted Williams books I didn't have in hardcover. I still actually haven't read any Ted Williams. This is The War of the Flowers. I just love the covers, and I feel like he's going to be an author I really click with, so uh, got that one. And then a hardcover of The Curse of Chalion by Lois McMaster Bujold. Uh, had the paperback version, but love this more uh, traditional fantasy painting cover uh, that's that's in this edition. And yeah, uh, this one will be hopefully a big hit with me. Here's one to continue a series that I had, I think, two of the books of. Hilary Mantel's Bring Up the Bodies. I had the Wolf Hall book already. Um, some historical fiction taking place in England. Don't know much about it, but I do think there's maybe three books in that series. And then Revenant Gun, book three of the Machineries of Empire series by Yoon Ha Lee. I do not have book one or two, but I really want to get to this series. So I just saw this book three and thought, start my collection of those. The owner of the bookstore in Niagara Falls, New York, he saw that I was checking out a lot of SFF books and he just threw in this book for free. He said, this is a, a physical arc by Daniel Krauss called Whalefall. There's a very brief blurb on the back. The Martian meets 127 hours, I love both of those, in this action-adventure thriller about a scuba diver who's been swallowed by an 80-foot, 60-ton sperm whale and has only one hour to escape before his oxygen runs out. Uh, yeah, actually, that sounds pretty awesome to me, so uh, maybe I really lucked into this one. I found one of the Rune Lords books by David Farland that I didn't have in hardback yet. This is Brotherhood of the Wolf, and it's one of the smaller book club hardbacks, but I already had one of those, and so my collection is a mishmash, but uh, better than the old MMPB that I had that was uh, sticking out. I recently saw the author Wesley Chu on a live stream with Brandon Sanderson, and then I ended up seeing his books at the used bookstore. This is, um, I think, the Time Salvagers series, Time Salvager and Time Siege. Uh, I think it's um, some thriller SFF style writing. I'm not sure if the series is complete or not with these two books, um, but yeah, don't know if uh, when I'll ever get to those, but interesting. So I have yet to dive into the Dark Tower series, but I'm happy that I waited since I finally found the rest of the books that would complete my set of the either the trade paperbacks with the original art or the hardcovers. 
And so I, I found a copy of The Gunslinger with lots of Michael Whalen's full color art printed throughout. And I just love that cover compared to the newer trade paperback cover. And then we have the drawing of the three in trade paperback, again with uh, full color art printed inside the trade paperbacks. That's so rare these days. And The Wastelands, book three. And again, full color art printed throughout. I'm so happy I found those. And there was also this book that I didn't know existed, but that is The Road to the Dark Tower. Uh, it's kind of a companion book that uh, kind of just explores, uh, I guess, things about Stephen King's process in writing these, the ideas behind it. Um, don't really know uh, what else is in here, but um, hopefully it'll add to my reading of the series. That's by Bev Vincent. I did all the First Law books by audio, but I have the first three in the trade paperback editions, and I found the first book of the Age of Madness trilogy in that same edition, so I love it because I can have uh, build my, my full matching set with these with the same kind of cover theme and feel uh, that I love of these trade paperbacks. So I'm very happy that I found that one. One of the thrills of looking through these bookstores is just seeing what older stuff is there that I did not know about and uh, looks like it could be really interesting. Uh, this is a collection of short stories by Roger Zelazny, The Last Defender of Camelot. Just love this old cover and uh, I have yet to try the Chronicles of Amber series or Lord of Light, which I both of which I have, but uh, if I love those, I'll have some more Zelazny stories. Another one that I just kind of caught my eye was this book by Barbara Hambly. That's the author of Dragon's Bane, Sisters of the Raven. Know absolutely nothing about this, but that's the joy of going to used bookstores. And I own a vast majority of Bernard Cornwell's published books, but I found two more that are getting me closer to completing my collection. This is Copperhead, book two of the Starbuck Chronicles. I think that's a U.S. Civil War or Revolutionary War series. Don't even know. But I th have three out of those four books now. And I got one of my missing Saxon Tales, The Pagan Lord. I think I'm missing now just one of those to have all of them. This one is in a little hardback edition, but I wouldn't have had a matching set of the paperbacks anyway. So I'm very happy to have just found that. And now we're entering the mass market paperback portion of the program. Uh, those always make up a lot of what's at used bookstores. So here is few Robert McCammon books. Boy's Life, I've heard a lot about that one being amazing. Well, he doesn't have too many published novels. Uh, I saw this one, Gone South, and thought I'd grab it in case I end up loving McCammon. And then Swan Song. So I actually have the a new version of Swan Song that's in the tall, thin mass market paperback. I hate those. I hate reading through those. They're hard to hold for me, and then my hands block the text. They're really tightly bound. But I actually found the uh, original mass market paperback that's in the normal MMPB size, and I actually love reading from these. So, oh, so happy I'll be able to read Swan Song in this edition. And another one that has been getting such rave reviews all over BookTube is Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry. Uh, just a, I've seen this in a lot of used bookstores, but I've been seeing so much hype for it recently that I finally uh, bought it. And it's just a, a classic, iconic cover. That color just gives it that Western feel. And uh, even the pages now with their yellow color match that the cover color. I love it. And here's an author I don't know much about. C.S. Friedman, The Wilding. I think this is a not even a book one in this series. So I got to figure out what series that's part of and grab book one. Some sci-fi. Peter F. Hamilton. We got The Abyss Beyond Dreams and The Dreaming Void. You know very little about these. Another Werner Vinge, A Deepness in the Sky, and then some more culture novels. So I've gotten a few of the culture books at used bookstores, but here I've now amassed the bunch of the more famous ones, including book one, where I think I want to start his first published one, which is Consider Phlebas. I know that's supposedly not the best indication of what the series becomes, but uh, so I'll have low expectations for this, but higher expectations, I think, for these ones use of weapons, and the player of games, and against a dark background. I love these older trade paperback editions. I felt really lucky to find those. I like them a lot more 
than the newer ones. Uh, just, yeah, they have more personality in the art. Here is the Black Magician Trilogy Book 3. I think I have Book 1, now I gotta get Book 2, by Trudy Canavan, the High Lord. And here's the Alloy of Law. So I actually have only done uh, the first three Mistborn Era 2 books on audio or by ebook. And this is my first time getting a physical copy of that one. And I've been enjoying reading Song of Ice and Fire in my mass market paperbacks and leaving my hardcovers just uh, resting on the shelf. The only one I didn't have was A Dance with Dragons. Might be getting to that one soon. So I was happy to find that MMPB. But the MMPBs that I do have, uh, they don't have the actual original art on them. I found these MMPBs that I didn't even know existed, but uh, this is going to replace the one I have that's more like the show tie-in art. And I love this MMPB for a Game of Thrones and then a Clash of Kings. Ooh, uh, I wonder if there's a full matching set that's like this, or at least maybe one for uh, Storm of Swords that I need to get my hands on now. Here's a couple more Vorkoskin books by Lois McMaster Bajold, Brothers in Arms, and The Vor Game. I got a whole stack of those now ready to go. And something I've heard just a little bit about, but I've heard good things, are these books by H.G. Perry. So I think the first one is this one. A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians. Supposed to be uh, kind of an alternate historical series. And then A Radical Act of Free Magic. So saw these really new looking trade paperbacks in the used bookstore and those are always a really good deal. Hopefully those will be a hit. All right, that was everything. Hope you enjoyed seeing this haul and I had fun uh, amassing them and showing them off. I just have a true book buying addiction, I think, that uh, I, I'm trying to slow down, but uh, things like road trips happen and you never know when I'm going to be back in certain towns and just uh, get all the things that look good to me while I can. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you thought looked good, that you've loved, that, that you've read, and yeah, if you're ever in the Ithaca, New York region, that book barn is a place to check out for sure. All right, I'll catch you later.